Well, it seems the punches here is the left cross from Edwards and the left hook from Smith. Well, good shots from Edwards. As the first few seconds of this fight, Smith was still doing his whooping and uh, hollering bit. Uh, he's very much concentrating on the work in hand here now. He hasn't got any time for the showboating. Edwards is making sure of that. Edwards getting through some good shots to start the second round. And of course, Bernard Paul is the current Commonwealth champion. And that's not a bad result for Richie Edwards, losing just by four, four rounds over 12 to Bernard Paul. So he's of obvious quality. As Paul was a, a little bit of a step up in class for Edwards compared with the opponents before then. Oh, a heavy left cross. Smith says it was a slip. I think it was a bit of, bit of off balance, but certainly the, the punch helped him over. And he's not looking quite so quick during the second round. This is in a bit of trouble here, Georgie Smith. That haircut is being knocked from side to side with regularity. A good right hook getting through from Edwards, and again. Smith fighting back, but he is in a bit of trouble here. Has he done the right thing in fighting back? Maybe he has. It certainly seems to have deterred Edwards from following up, as he perhaps should have done. Well, Smith them very, very well. Edwards may have punched himself out. That's got to be a 10 round, 10 9 round for Richie Edwards. Smith cut under the left eye, and there's no joking about now. This is very, very serious. Well, it was a slip. But he was hurt, there's no doubt about it. He was hurt, and, and there was certainly a punch that, that sent him over as well. Uh, and there were punches which followed up while he was still somewhat confused and disconcerted. That right there. Uh, not a good round at all for, for Georgie Smith. It's not the first time he's been over. He was put over in his second fight of his pro career by a lad called Stevie Bolt and, and got straight up to stop the man in the second. So... Uh, he has experience being on the floor before, but it's not something he's used to, it's not something he likes. Georgie Smith in the white and gold, Richie Edwards in the red and white. Can Smith regroup, get his boxing back together. Needs to use that long left jab. Nice left counter from Smith. The pace seems to have dropped a little. It is perhaps surprising that, that Edwards isn't trying to maintain pressure on Smith. He left him off the hook a little bit in that second round, and it's almost as though the fight has started again in the third. 
he certainly seems to have great respect for Smith's punching power and he's not taking any risks. Not much happening, but what is happening is coming from Georgie Smith. As you say, Gareth Edwards being surprisingly negative. Edwards with powerful punches, we know he can punch. But at the moment he's just thrown this round away on the referee's scorecard, he's done nothing. Good right cross. This has been, been the time around that Georgie Smith needed. Very quiet, time to recruit, get his senses back, and yet still win the round. Hard to understand why Edwards didn't push forward. Well, here we see some work. Good right hand from Georgie Smith. And well, that could have been the reason, Gareth, that uh, Edwards didn't do too much in that round. Indeed, it's certainly going pause for thought. Fourth round, and this fight really looks to be a cracker in the making. Both of these boys can punch. Both of them have been on the floor during their career. That's when Edwards fought. Bernard Paul for the uh, the title last time out it was a heck of a fight nip and tuck swayed both ways before Paul emerged victorious this one looks to have the same uh, prospect Smith a very very good boxer you see he's well balanced long arms quick and contains a fair bit of power he's a good amateur reached the ABA final in 91 Listen to Jason Matthews, the Welshman. And I seem to remember then when he entered the Albert Hall, there were thousands of people cheering him on. He's always had a big following. All from the beautiful Essex village of Basildon, as our MC described it with a bit of a flight of a village, I would think. But, uh, yes, I'm not sure whether the words beautiful or village are particularly relevant. And you may have a few arguments there. He won five Eastern Counties titles on the trot to Georgie Smith, so he's got a pedigree as an amateur as well as a pro. But apart from reaching the ABA finals, he got to the semi-final again the following year, lost to Alan Temple from Hartlepool, uh, and Temple went on to beat Richie Edwards in the final that year, so... Stopping him in the final. Indeed. So there's a fair indication these two have been mixing at the same level of competition for many years. So it all looks forward to it. what we have is, is a good fight in store. Again, Smith holding the centre of the ring, jabbing and keeping Edwards at long range. 